pension scheme investment strategies traditionally diversified to minimise risk and recent reforms have opened up investment options even further. As Toby Sadler reports, companies like Primerica are developing more tailored strategies using property investment to help funds meet their twin objectives of matching liabilities and reducing deficits. During a rainy commute, retirement can seem like a welcome prospect. But the question everyone here will one day have to answer is how are you going to pay for it? Of course, pensions remain the most common method, but this is an industry that relies on public trust, as such huge efforts are being made to ensure retirement schemes not only deliver for pensioners, but also give them confidence about the way their money is being handled. The Pension Protection Fund says that typically UK schemes are only 80% funded. What that means is that for every pound a pensioner wants to take out, there's just 80 pence of assets left in the pot. So any pension fund manager making a new investment has that in the back of their mind at all times. It also means that some of those investments will need to be greater risk to try and get a greater return for their money. Real estate investment is helping to do just that. The cranes above the City of London suggest confidence is high. But this is not just about building new glass towers. The 2008 crash has left many rightly nervous. Instead, some pension schemes are using their funds to offer mortgage-style finance. Before 2008, 2009, when the financial crisis happened, uh, real estate finance in Europe was, was dominated by, by the banking industry. Now, post the financial crisis, uh, banks were effectively capital constrained. They were restructuring their balance sheets. Uh, which created a real gap for what I would call alternative lenders or non-bank lenders. And that's effectively a gap that we sought to, sought to fill. So we effectively raised money from pension funds uh, to fill that gap and provide another source of finance to real estate. Both risk and reward are increased, but with those, investors also want transparency and trust. To do that, many products are measured with benchmarks, which, like a yardstick, can help trustees see just how well their money is performing. The real benefits of a benchmark isn't that precise over underperformance, it's more getting to the, the, the reasons for that. What are the reasons for over underperformance uh, that are critically important? And I think the benchmarking process really helps in terms of governance uh, between the pension fund and the manager in uh, being clear about these, uh, these risks uh, that might be taken for the performance that, 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 that's being aimed for. Real estate investing is helping reduce the asset gaps in pension funds but it can also deliver the much-needed long-term stability. One of the keys to success in this area is getting your timing right. In real estate, there has been a very significant growth over the past uh, 10, 15 years um, in, in a particular area known as liability-driven investing, where you're trying to focus on um, investments and asset classes which are going to have a lower volatility and are going to help deliver a return which is more focused on income but income which is going to match inflation. So in other words, matching the liabilities of a, of a pension fund. Primerica is also providing opportunities for pension funds to invest globally. Trust remains a key issue, so products in different countries are described in a common financial language. That way, everyone knows what they're buying into. Geographic diversification from a global perspective is really just the next step along the spectrum from sort of product type um, diversification, so people being in all different asset classes and, and taking a view that they should weigh their asset allocation among different asset classes versus just pouring everything into one thing like fixed income or, or securities. And, and the, you know, moving um, beyond your own borders is really just the next rational step in that process. Whether investing at home or abroad, Primerica is adamant that real estate can meet a range of needs of a typical pension fund. It works hard for your money and might just make all those commutes in the rain worthwhile.